Hey folks, today we take a look at a small game. It's a real cool little tiny game, a really small footprint. It's called How to Rob a Bank. And it absolutely will not teach you how to rob a bank. But it is a lot of fun to play from two to four players. It's all happening right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Pack Tech and my Wonder Girl, KP. <laughs> We're gonna go and do a full playthrough of how to rob a bank. Before we get going, let me tell you just a little bit about the different mechanisms involved in this game. So basically in how to rob a bank, what you're gonna do is uh, each, each player is gonna take uh, eight cards in their hand. They're gonna pick five of them and you're gonna lay them out one at a time. Uh, the cops go first. And then uh, every robber player will, you know, do the same, and they're going to lay their card out. Even in a two-player game, uh, you're going to control at least two robbers. There's always going to be at least two burglars. If you play a four-player game, you can break out this guy and have another, another criminal. You'll also swap out one of the tiles and uh, pull out an extra policeman, too. The iconography on the board is really helpful, too. This tracks how many of your bags that you've gotten and how many you need to get to win. Uh, these are the free actions for the criminals. Uh, we've got spaces for the cards. You see the, the criminal ones, of course, have a mask. And uh, the cop ones have a little shield. And it's got all the iconography that are on these cards uh, kind of listed up here as an explanation. Now, as for the cards themselves, you're going to have two actions. Now, the cops can do both. And a lot of these other ones you can do both too. And there'll be things like move, lock. Uh, all of these tokens can be flipped over to a locked side, which gives uh, the criminals an extra step that they need to pick it up. Uh, they can also tackle. Uh, tackling one of these guys just means that they go face down. And again, they have to burn a card to stand up again. And the criminals have no choice but to do that. So as the cops go through the, the cards that they've, that they've drawn, uh, they're going to pick one of their cards. And then the, the criminals do the same thing. They're going to pick through their cards. And of course, you know, they have their own set of different types of icons. This is their version of Tackle, which is like a pepper spray. It looks like I put the cops in the wrong one. But they would be like over here. And then the, both uh, if you're playing two-player games, you know, uh, they play their first criminal and then their second criminal. And this kind of goes around in a big circle where they're all going to be picking their different cards. And it's basically the plan for what they're going to do in a round. And once you get to five cards, they all get flipped over. Okay, I've mixed these up somehow. <laughs> so I have these out as sort of a rough example. And... Uh, and what will happen is the police always go first. They'll flip a card over, like this one is run, run. Now, they can run twice with one of these, or they can move one of these twice. So they can either go boom, boom, or they can go here and here. They can't pass through these walls. In fact, they can't either, unless they have a special card to do so. They have one card where they can go through air vents. So then the red player would go. The red player's going to move pepper spray. Uh, there's no one to pepper spray, so you can just kind of move. Uh, greens move pepper spray. He can't really do anything, so he just kind of moves over there. Then the cop will do its next move, uh, which is a move and lock. You could do this in any order, too. So he could lock that and move away. And like red would want to go move and pick up. He could move over here, but he can't pick it up because it's locked. Green just wants to run, so run over here, and the police uh, and move and tackle, so you could run over here and just knock red over. And then because red's knocked over, uh, he can't pepper spray, he has to just stand up, now, no matter what this card is, because he's knocked over, he just stands up. You're not able to pick these up if they're locked. Or, if there's a policeman on the same tile with you, you're kind of stuck. If you do have a card, 
with, uh, and you'll see that some of these have choices, pepper spray or pick up money. If you do have a card with a pick up money, you can just kind of place your guy on top of it and you've got it. And like this one, I'm picking up money and I'm moving. It could be kind of a risky move. I could go that way. The other thing is at the end of every one of these criminals turns, they have an option to do one of these free actions that I've kind of skipped over. So those can be like pull the alarm, which is right here. Uh, I can hand off money to another criminal, or I can throw money out the, out the window to the getaway car, which is actually how you collect these, or I can move the getaway car. So well, like when this guy was moving around, I could have been kind of getting this car into position, and if it's right there next to me, while I'm on a money bag, and by the way, you can carry as many of these money bags as you want. So if there, but I can only throw one out at a time. So if this happened to be here, on my turn when I have a money bag, and there's no policeman around, I could toss this out the window to him, and then it goes up onto the board to indicate that uh, I've gotten one of my money bags out the bank. I have to do four of these to win in a two to three player game, and five of them to win in a five player game. And that's roughly how you play, but really watching us play it would probably be a better explanation, so let's jump to that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these blueprint tiles, these floor tiles. We've already removed this one tile, which uh, is for a four-player game, since we're just playing two players. And we're taking out uh, the extra cop meeple also, or the bank guard. So we're just going to set those aside. Also, because we're playing two players, we're removing the uh, the yellow uh, the yellow robber and his cards. So those are going off to the side. So for two players, what we're going to do is you're you're going to play the bank. So, All you're, right. so you're the cops, and uh, I'm playing the robbers. Now if, in a two-player game, you're actually going to play two different robbers, and it really takes uh, it takes two to make a thing go right. Takes two to make it out of sight. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing we do is I'm gonna take take the layout tiles and I'm just randomly, flip, I'm gonna do them all the same way. Just kind of randomly lay out the first floor. You do that. All right. If we happen to box one in, we're supposed to rotate it. So we're not supposed to have any tiles where things can't, where people can't get to places. All right. And then we lay uh, lay these down in the in the spaces that are indicated here. So the cops go on the shields and go and lay on that. Like this. And both the robbers go on the little mask over here. The next thing that happens is we're going to take our cards and we shuffle them. And we're going to draw out eight different cards. Uh, also, the car is going to go on the opposite side of the bank from the robbers. Now, since I'm two players, I also have to do uh, some for the red players. So, one, two, three. So, starting with the bank player, what we're going to do is we're going to lay face up what we intend to do first. If you did decide to play this with uh, three or four players, uh, the robbers can kind of like show each other the cards and plan out what they want to do, too. So I'll place down my card first. Okay. And looks like she's going to go straight for moving and tackling, which she absolutely can do. So I'm not going to put anything too important down first for either one of them. Okay, so we've all we've chosen all our actions. Now the cards flip over. We go ahead and we take the first turn. All right, so I go first. Right. And I'm going to move and tackle. If I remember correctly, the red one has one where he can collect. So I'm going to tackle him first. All right, so she's moved over and tackled the red player. Um, Green guy's just going to get out of there. So he's going to go... We'll send him over here. 
interesting turn. And then he gets a free, the, the robbers also get a free action. And there's a couple of things they can do, like throw money, hand money off, set up, set off an alarm, or they can move their getaway car. And I'm going to move the getaway car over here. All right, so now red's going to go. And I, I'd had some, I had some plans for red. But they're thwarted because he's been tackled. So all he can do is stand up. Now your turn. All right. I'm going to move and lock. So move and lock. All right. And I have a weird feeling that he is going to use this to summon all of my people over here. Could be. So I'm going to move and lock this so that he can't do that. Ooh. All right, so now green is going to take take to the air vents, and with this card I can move anywhere on the board, and I'm going over here, and then red is also going to go to the air vent. By the way, and with his free action, he's moving the car up here for green. Uh, red. Is going to do an air vent and get over here. And, and he's not going to do anything with his free action, so go. Ooh. <laughs> Getting nervous. All right. So I am going to run and then tackle Mr. Green here so he can't get that in there. Okay. Actually, wait, can I, yeah. can I lock that instead? Yeah. I can't pick it up while you're standing there anyway. That's right. Okay. Then I'm going to tackle you. We'll just pretend that I didn't do that. Okay, okay so you tackle. Okay. I'm doing the... Uh, I wouldn't normally be picking that up. That was my plan. So... I'm not going to get to do that. So sad. <laughs> So instead of doing that, all he can do is, is stand up. Wah, wah. Red player has a pick up and move, and I can do these in any order. Oh gosh, what to do. So he can pick it up and move, but he can't drop it off with that guard there. Huh. This guard here is going to have to make a choice, but if I move my car too far away, I won't be able to do anything. So, with his free action, I guess, ah, uh, ah, uh, what do I do? I have a feeling I'm not going to get any money back this turn. I don't think so. <laughs> I've only got two cards left. I can't even remember what they are. <laughs> okay, so I'll just, uh, I'll move the car up just in case I can do something. Okay. All right. And I am going to run and tackle yet again. I am going to... Tackle this one again, and then I'm going to run. Okay, so green, all he can do is stand up. Now red. And red has to pick up the money bag, which he can't do. Because I'm in the space. But he can do a special action, which is to move the car back this way. And my last turn is to run and tackle. So, I'll be doing that to him. Ah! The security guard needs to get a raise. So, I can't actually do anything there. Uh, I could have pepper sprayed that, this uh, in the red player's last move. Uh, he could have run over here and pepper sprayed or picked up a bag. See, even if he picked up a bag... Uh, I guess I've been better off maybe running the car around to the other side. Who knows? <laughs> yes. But he can't really do anything, so that's kind of the end of round one. And then we're going to reset. All our cards go back. So, so far, the robbers have done really bad. They haven't gotten any of the money bags. That's probably the worst I've ever done. So the cards are going back into their stacks of cards. All the stuff comes off the board. 
And then we reshuffle the tiles, and maybe we'll get a, a, a better scenario this time. It's going to have to be a great one. <laughs> it's going to have to be a great one. I'll tell you that. I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit. <laughs> They're shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and lay out floor two. I like that behind a wall. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alarm right in the middle. The first one I'm going to lay down is going to be to run and lock. Alright. Uh, green's first one is going to be to run and pepper spray. No. <laughs> this time I'll be a little bit more aggressive or pick up. <laughs> So I could do either one, depending on which way you go. And two. We're flipping these back over. Here we go again. All right. First, I'm going to run and lock. So he is going to run and lock this one. Okay. So green would like to run and either pepper spray or pick up a bag. And I think he's going to do the pepper spray. So he's going to come over here and knock the cop over. Knock the cop, knock the cop over, knock the cop. Don't tip the cop over. Then, then green with his free action is going to move the car over. Then red's going to go. Uh, for red, I've chosen to move and pick up a bag. So he's going to move and pick up this bag. All and right. his free action, it moves the car again. The next turn is to run and lock yet again. So I'm going to keep them down because I can keep him moving. So I'm going to run and lock this one. Okay. Uh, green's got the next move, and he's going to unlock or pick up a bag and run. So I can unlock this and move over if he chooses. No, I'm going to move up here. And with his free action, he's going to bring the car down this way. Uh, red. Uh, can move and pepper spray. So he's going to take this bag over here. Pepper spray the other cop. Ah. <laughs> and with his free action, he's going to toss this bag out the window to the car. No! Giving me my first, my first money. Not as lucky this round. <laughs> Alright, so I have no choice but to burn this excellent card that I have. I'm going to do it to get this one Standing yet again. Okay. Then green goes. And uh, green can unlock something, but he's not standing on something to unlock. So he's kind of done. <laughs> That's the luck of the green robber. Uh, red had the ability to pick something up, but he also can't do that right now. So he just goes on. All right. My next one is to tackle and run or run and tackle. And I am going to tackle this guy right here. Then I'm going to run right here. So Green had chosen to move or pepper spray, but there's nobody in range to pepper spray. So what he's going to do is just move. Then he's going to trip this alarm. What that alarm does is it's going to bring all the conscious guards over. So it's going to be him. Brings him over here, and uh, he stays right where he is. Red, all he can do is stand up. Then, Unlock. well, all he can do is stand up. Oh. Yeah, he had to move and unlock, but he was already down, so all he can do is just stand up again, and then it's your turn. Your last card. All right, my last card is to run and tackle. Which I think my best bet 
it's probably going to be to tackle them again since they're the closest to the getaway car. Okay. So I'm going to run and tackle them. All right. And green had a move and pick up, but unfortunately there isn't anywhere to go. So, so the move and pick up car doesn't do him any good. He's kind of stuck. And the red, all he would be able to do is... Okay, so that's it in round two. And it would be honest, it would take a miracle for me to win. But we're going to give it a try. Let's see if you can get three next round. So we're going to have to go through and reset all this. Oh, I am in such bad shape. <laughs> it was really hard to get those bags out the door. Especially with me playing. Yes, you're just... <laughs> Your constant threat. <laughs> I'm too good. Let's see if I manage to get one of these without you like right next to me. <laughs> You're the best one on the team, Peck. <laughs> <laughs> You're we the need best you. around. Let's let you down. Ooh, I like this so far. Looks you are like far away from good. me now. Okay. Okay. But the getaway car is over here. Yeah, the getaway car is like way over here. And the robbers are both here. Policeman there. Policeman there. All right. Actually, we discussed this amongst each other. We're, we're going to just go through all our cards. All right. Get them set up, and then we'll get it in the next round. You guys can be surprised. Uh, let's see. Oh, dang. All right. All right. Round one. Or the last. Five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Floor three, let's go. Final round. Show the camera what you, what you pull up. No. All right. First, I'm going to run and lock. Now, I could either do this one or this one. And I think I'm going to do this one. Run, lock. Okay. So for green, he's chosen to run and pick up. So he's going to go and pick this one up. And I'm going to move this car this way. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, we ain't doing something I didn't expect. Okay, red. Oh, and then the red player is going to move in pepper spray. So he's going to move over here, but there's no one to, pe there's no one to pepper spray for the second part. So what he's going to do is pull this alarm. That brings all the cops over there with him. Ah! All right. He might actually do it. <laughs> oh, no. All right. And I can run and lock. But it doesn't really help me too much. So I think I'm going to lock this so he can't do it again. Possibly. And then run over here so I can start chasing down the green. All right. So green pick to run and either unlock or pick up another money bag. So I think he's just going to take that money bag over here and pick up this money bag too. Ah! <laughs> no! Oh, and for his free action, he's going to move the car this way. Ah! All right. Next, I have run and tackle, which is going to be a little bit difficult, but... I can't do, I can't really get him, so I'm at least gonna run and get closer. Then you go tackle him with your other side. Might as well. The cops can split the two, the cops can split the two sides of their cards and use it for either, either cop. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Red's tackled, so for his, his next move was gonna be to pepper spray that guy. So that's probably a good idea to tackle him. So he's just gonna stand up again. And then yours. What about your green turn? Oh, I skipped green. You skipped green. Okay, green. I wonder what I picked for him. Okay, green is uh, chose to move and pick up an item. So he's going to move over here. And he's going to, for his free action, he's going to drop bags in there. Oh, no. So I'm going to throw one money bag in for free action. That gives me two. That's half of what I need. All oh, right. no. Okay. And red's already gone because he just stood up from his thing because I went out of turn. All right. Let's see if I can get him. Last two cards. Second to last card, I have run and lock. 
I don't know what that's going to do for me, but I'm going to at least run. <laughs> See if I can get in that space with him. Okay. So, for his next turn, he chose to move and unlock. And what he's going to do is for his, for his free action... He's going to go ahead and throw this money bag out the window. She could do that at any order. So he's going to throw that to the car. Oh, no. And then he's going to move over here, and that's all he can do. Uh, then Red is going to go. He has move and pick up, but he can't pick up anything. So he's just going to move over here, and then his free action is going to move the car again. Oh, no. All right, and then I have another move and tackle, but alas, I can't tackle anybody unless I move with this one. I don't know what to do. I think I got it. <laughs> well, at least move and tackle this guy. I'm pulling this one out of the... Yeah. I don't know how If that makes you it. feel better, you can... <laughs> Oh no! Ah. Oh no, I forgot. I should have done a pick it up. My last card for green is a uh, moving pepper spray. Red player was just going to pick up a money. So that's what, that should have been his last card. Dang. If I had done that, I would have won the game. But it looks like, looks like uh, justice prevails once again. And the red player, <laughs> and, the, and the cops win. Sorry, champ. Oh, I was so <laughs> close. At least I kind of pulled it out and I made it close right there at the end. I know. You got two bags in one round. What do you think of this game? It's really fun. It's nice and short, but um, it kind of changes each time you play it. So you can play it multiple times and it stays entertaining. It's a great game for a low footprint uh, kind of scenario, too, where you don't have a lot of room to play, like maybe a small end table mm -hmm. or a kitchen table or something like that. You definitely don't need a lot of room. Uh, all these components feel pretty durable, too, so you could probably play with some younger kids without it... Uh, Falling apart. <laughs> ...getting completely destroyed. Uh, it does play up to four players. I'd be curious to know. I've only played it with two players. Uh, I'd be curious to know what it's like with three or four players. Mm -hmm. It's published by Prospero Hall, and it's, uh, it's cool. It's a neat little, it's a neat little game. Uh, pretty easy to learn. I guess the most complicated thing is probably planning out, uh, drawing your eight cards and planning out your moves is really probably the most complicated thing to teach. I someone. would agree. <laughs> but uh, once you get that down, in fact, once we played uh, one or two rounds of this, it, it became really simple. All right, and that's all I got for now. Uh, we'll be doing some more playthroughs. If you like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you see that we've missed something or you or you have a question. And until we meet again, keep playing games and having fun. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Suck it. Beat you twice in an hour. As much as he tries, he just can't win.